The man, identified as 72-year-old Abraham Robinson, is a resident of Riverside, New Haven, in Dwayne Park. CVM Live visited the area on Saturday to report on the impact of the flooding in the community. However, what we found out was much more terrible. Robinson's home, like many others in the neighborhood, was cut off, overflowing with water and sewage. We could not enter. After calling out to Robinson, who is blind, to speak with him from a distance, we observed that both his hands had chop wounds. Oh my God, guys, this is a black man. You see him, man? You see him, man? Oh my God. This is a man in his hand. It's alleged that Robinson was chopped by a tenant more than 24 hours before on Friday. Robinson, who has a caregiver, said she tried calling the police, but they could not respond. Neighbors wading in the water to rescue the blind man who was in need of medical attention. The CVM team transported the man to the Dwayne Park Police Station, but the officers admitted that they could not take him to the hospital. They say they only had one police car, which was unavailable at the time. The Dwayne Park Police Station services at least 16 communities, Ferris, New Haven, Washington Gardens, Patrick City, Callaloo Mews, Pembroke Hall, Three Oaks Gardens, Glendale, Queensboro, Plantation Heights, parts of Red Hills Road, Greendale, Marvelly, Drewsland, Akiwalk and Perkins Boulevard. When asked for a police escort with a motorcycle, the officers say they do not have any. The CVM team took Robinson to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was admitted. We checked with the hospital on Monday to get an update on Robinson's health and were told he was doing well. One car for the division is totally in, uh, inadequate. And I think the police need to get more vehicles. It, is, it is, has become a reality and even greater crimes have been happening in the area to which the police cannot respond to. We have to be proactive as a government to ensure that the, each police station is serviced with the relevant necessary resources. Jamila Maitland for CVM Live.